Hey everyone, welcome to another MLM dumpster fire. Today we're back for another top MLM fails video and you know it, this one has Jessie Lee as well. It's going to be a lot of everything, so I think it's going to be a little bit lengthy. So without further ado, let's get into it. Before we do though, don't forget to click the like and subscribe button. That would really help me out a lot. It's a nice free way to support my channel. And as always, big shout out to all my channel members. I appreciate you guys. Thank you for being here. God, I think I need to go to my eye doctor because my sight seems to be getting worse and worse. I know some of you are here because of Jessie Lee specifically, so let's go through her posts first. I'm not gonna stall you. This one says, is network marketing a scam? Network marketing is it's an even playing field. Nobody asks you, hey, are you a criminal? Hi, did you go to Yale or did you come from jail? Hi, what is your experience in something like this? Hey, have you done anything like this before? Hi, are you coachable, leadable, teachable? Do you have any sales experience? Have you ever recruited anybody before? Are you somebody who will show up to events? Are you somebody who blames and shames and justifies everybody with every Everything. Are you somebody who takes accountability for things that you do? Nobody asks any questions. <laughs> You're qualified. And well, that's the problem. And then also in network marketing, a lot of the big problem is people say, oh, it's really easy. You just join and you make money. Well, I just told no. you in 35 seconds before this, I've put in a ton of work. I learned how to do a lot of things. I built a lot of skill sets. So it's like anything. If you compare network marketing to real estate, the failure rate's almost identical. But I don't really mm -hmm. hear anybody saying that real estate is a scam. I hear a lot of people saying real estate's unbelievable. Okay, so is real estate a scam or is it unbelievable? I could ask you. 90% of people with a real estate license have never sold a house. Okay, way to dodge to answer that question if network marketing is a scam. I don't think that was an actual question because I watched this podcast. Um, this is the podcast that she done with Mary Jane is her name, I believe. And she wasn't supposed to record it, but of course in the Jessie Lee fashion, she live streamed it on her Facebook and I'm gonna link a few videos from JJ, Aaron, everyone that I find that has made a full commentary on the podcast because it's it was interesting because if you haven't watched it, Jesse Lee was not aware that the podcaster is actually anti MLM, so it's a fun watch, it's a good one. It's also infuriating because Jesse Lee gets very, very rude at one point. So she didn't respond to the question that she wrote in the caption Is network marketing a scam? you don't have to recruit anyone and everyone. You can check who you're trying to recruit into your team, but you don't. And why? Because the more you recruit, doesn't matter if they're good or bad, just getting distracted by construction people. The more you recruit, and it doesn't matter if those people fail or succeed, you get more money through that recruitment. So of course you don't care. You're not gonna check who you're recruiting, but you could, but you won't. Let's read her caption on this. Is network marketing a scam? Look, nobody said it was easy. You have to try treated like a business. Every industry has a 1%. To be in that 1%, you have to do the work. The only guarantee I can make about network marketing is if you do zero work, you will make zero dollars. Not true, Jessie Lee. At the end of the day, it's a decision. It's a decision to show up on a daily consistent basis. Are you thankful for the network marketing profession like I am? Let me know. I think very little people are actually grateful for it because very little people earn money with it. The whole anti-MLM community is not grateful for it because it gives us a headache. I guess the point of this was like that she didn't actually answer the question. Is network marketing a scam? How was that real an answer to that question? She just dodged it and then went into real estate. Let's just move on to the next one. My number one core value is kindness. So when it comes to things like ownership or things like understanding people, I always default to kindness. I always default to, okay, this person is being villainous on social media, why are they hurt? I always run back to trying to understand people and understand their situations. And I think that when you learn that you can have ownership over yourself, it just goes back to control. I can control this. I can control this person. I can control how I react or more like how I respond instead of react. Well, wasn't that interesting? Her number one core value is kindness. Jessie Lee is just so kind. If you for a second think that she is a kind person, especially Especially towards the haters or the people that do not share the same opinions as herself or the people that criticize multi-level marketing profession and herself and whatever, go watch my previous video on MLM haters because that one has some top-notch reels that she made about haters where she is literally cussing and cursing at us uh, and she's being very condescending and rude. I love how contradictory she is. Like, I don't even have to do anything. I can just play a few reels, a few contradictory reels from her own Instagram page, from her own trainings, things that she said herself and she just debunks herself. So <laughs> it's just so funny. She doesn't care. She just talks to talk. 
Okay, this is her post for this reel. I don't work with rude, nasty people, period. My number one core value is kindness. I don't care how talented you are, how rich you are, or what you look like. If you're a nasty person, we're not gonna work out together. Have you established your core values? What is important to you? Until you clearly define this, you will always be attracting the wrong characters. Oh, really, Jesse? So if your number one core value is kindness and you're so good at being kind, why do you still attract a bunch of anti-MLM people that don't like you and that dislike the things that you say. Like, why is there so many people that are so angry at you right now? You either like me or you don't like me, but I love me. I am a good person. I make the world a better place and I change people's lives. So if you want to talk about it from a negative standpoint, by all means, but something is wrong with you. How come I've coached countless people to millions of dollars and you didn't make millions of dollars? The problem is not me. That's what I do. Love it. Something is wrong with you, sweetheart. So I'm not going to sit here and go and make bashing videos back to you. They want your attention. So whoever getting any kind of attention from haters, you know what? They want you to respond. They know you can't quit. They know I'm never going to stop being an entrepreneur. What they try to do is they try to distract you from the vision that God put in your life. I'm not interested. I'm not interested in slowing down. I'm not interested in veering off that path. Like I already said 10 minutes ago, I have people's lives to change. And if I'm focused on trying to change the life of one hater who is miserable and already one foot, six feet under as far as I'm concerned, then you know what? I've ruined my own mission because I was focused on being distracted, which is all they knew that they could do. So stop looking at it. Um, again, uh, Jessie Lee is apparently a kind person. There we go. She makes the world a better place. She helps people join Prove It and other multi-level marketing companies where they earn no profit, most of them, up to 99% of them. This is backed up by the FTC, Federal Trade Commission. They don't make any profit. She's the one that profits off of their hard work and their efforts, but she helps people and she makes the world a better place. She's a kind person, but she constantly insults people. She has like I said previously, she's cursed at anti MLMers. If you don't agree with her values and with her business and with MLMs or whatever, she's gonna be rude to you. I have not seen her be kind to anyone, but correct me if I'm wrong in the comments below. When did you ever see her be kind to anyone? Unless she's trying to recruit them, I guess. So the caption for this was haters don't actually hate you, they hate themselves. Hurt people hurt people. Any energy wasted towards a hater is energy lost. Focus on you and your mission. Not losers on the internet. Dogs don't bark at parked cars. Keep moving. Mm. I love how this is a reference to the anti-MLM community once again. How we are just a bunch of losers on the internet. <laughs> I just find that funny. I'm not even insulted. Why are you getting mad though? If we're not important and if we don't make any difference to you in your world, in your business or whatever, why do you get so heated whenever we come into the conversation? So again, she is just contradicting herself. There is another post that maybe I forgot to include the real, I don't know, but let's read it. She says, always lead with kindness. Want to separate yourself from the 99% of people? Genuinely care about people and lead with integrity. Nice people finish first. Drop a yes if you got a value from this. How many videos have we seen so far where she yells at her downline, she shames them for not recruiting enough, just screams and shouts at them that they're not working hard enough, if they're not making any profit, they're just not working hard enough, it's always their fault. How is that kindness? If she actually thinks that's her being kind, that's very twisty as DC would say. I don't even know what to say to that. It's just completely twisted and strange in my opinion. Oh yeah, another one, sorry. Yeah, we have another one left from her about her number one core value. <laughs> Again, kindness. You all own businesses. What are your core values for you too? So it doesn't just have to be core values for your business. I know if you heard me do my culture and leadership talk, I talked about this, but what are your core values for you? What are the things that for you, it always falls back on? Just as an example, my number one core value is the easy for me to talk about. It's just kindness. I don't like doing business with people who are mean. I don't like people that post mean things on the internet. I don't like nastiness. It's just, ugh. I don't care if you're a multi-billionaire. I just don't want to do business with you because I don't want to be around it. I want people to come to my page and they see this bubbly personality, loud, outgoing, but never watch a video of mine and go, God, she's mean. That to me would be the, probably the worst insult of everything anybody could say to me because that's completely against my brand's identity. What? <laughs> that's hilarious. Is she doing 
doing this to troll us? I think some of these reels are made specifically. Not the reels, obviously this was uh, some kind of uh, podcast or whatever interview, but I think she says this stuff on purpose to like troll us. She is a typical mean girl and if you take a glance at her Instagram profile, you're gonna see a bunch of clips, like I said, where she shouts, insults people. Also, big difference between like haters and people who criticize you. Like there's such thing as constructive criticism. Even if it's just criticism, if you're doing something shitty, like in my opinion, Boss Lee is doing something shitty. That's it for Jesse Lee. If you've been here just for Jesse Lee, you can leave because that's it. We're gonna move on to an iGenius hun. So let's see what she's gonna teach us today. She's got a valuable lesson for us as well. And we've seen this girl, her name Dakota, you know it. She's the girl that likes to pour shame people. I'm sorry, but fuck your feelings. Your mom needs a successful daughter, your siblings need a successful sister to look up to, and your nieces and nephews need that successful auntie to spoil the shit out of them. Wow, drop a poop emoji down below if you got value out of this. <laughs> what does that even mean? Are we supposed to F our feelings and ignore all the red flags and get into a business where we have 99% of chances of never making any profit because what our mom needs a successful daughter? Who even says that? I don't really understand where she's coming from, but I have mentioned this before. She's on a very bad path. She's, I think she's younger than me. She's in her early 20s, if I'm not wrong. And she has mentioned before that she has left her friends. They're not into MLMs. They like their nine to five average jobs whatever. So she doesn't have anything in common with them in that sense, I guess. So she stopped talking to them and she's actually broken up with her boyfriend because she said that he was happy with his average life, average job, and he did not want to join, a try, to try to be an entrepreneur like she is, which she's not. She's an independent contractor for iGenius. So that's very sad, but this is her talking about it a little bit. Okay, so I'm newly single. And basically I've been in a relationship for the past like eight years. And these are some things that I have learned after getting out of the relationship and now focusing on myself and my business. Pretty much I went from a three year long relationship immediately into a five-year long relationship i do not think anybody should do that like take some time for yourself that's my biggest regret two never look for love and satisfaction in somebody else that shit comes from who you are three if they do not compliment your life they are not for you relationships should not make your life harder number four if they're not trying to go where you're trying to go leave i don't care if you guys want the same amount of kids i don't care if you guys want to live in the same style of house they're not trying to go where you're going it's not going to work and i'm talking this is more business side of things i'm talking if they are okay with working a nine to five and you want to have freedom for yourself it ain't gonna work my last relationship was like that i wanted freedom for myself i wanted to make more money i didn't want to work a nine to five mans was okay with working a nine to five he was okay with settling for less I, I'm not about that. Ah, oh. <laughs> Do you have all your eggs spits at you? I put butter in the pan. Cool. <laughs> also, I need to say, I put this shit on everything. It's a red pepper seasoning. I put it on everything that I make, especially my eggs. I have no idea what number we're on, but men low-key are distractions. And this is for, again, business related because y'all know most of my pages about making money in business. And this kind of ties into like, if they don't compliment your life, it ain't gonna work. But if they also don't compliment your business, don't encourage you, support it. I don't know what you're really doing. Because a business takes time and so does a relationship. So if your man says all oh, like, you're not spending time with me, blah, 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 blah. I'm trying to make money. I'm trying to create freedom for myself. I don't know how spiritual y'all are, but I got a reading done once and it basically said somebody in my life close to me is distracting me. If I don't get rid of them, my business is going to suffer and I'm going to be unsatisfied. I shit you not. First off, I love avocado. The moment I decided though that it wasn't going to work, that I was done. The next week, my business boomed. I had so many sales. Last thing, I finish off my egg toast. I heard somewhere, the way you treat yourself 
is the way other people are going to treat you. And if you believe that you're being treated poorly, or you go in this cycle of you leave this person because of the way that they're treating you, and then you find somebody else, and it's like the same fucking person, same personality, but just different face, different body, it's because you haven't healed yourself. And I literally experienced this the other day, and then it made me realize that I genuinely just need to stay single for at least a few years, I'm thinking. Because I haven't been single in forever, and I'm 23 years old. And so I realized that this person that I met that I was talking to, like the same version of my ex, just a different body, and it hit me. I was like, damn thought that I treated myself good but I guess that I don't and I guess that I have a lot more healing than I thought I did and so that's my tip for the day I'm gonna drink my coffee I'm eating my breakfast I love y'all and um bye. okay so she has been consistently in relationships since she was 15 years old that's fine take your time be single for a change especially if you've never been single like throughout your teen or young adult life not even gonna go into that that's too personal shit for me i'm just gonna go into the part where she shamed her boyfriend for being happy in her average life and that's the reason why she broke up with the dude like okay if there was some underlying issues whatever but if that's solely the reason why you broke up with that guy good riddance for him i mean also all the advice like if you if they're not going where you're going it's not gonna work out you want to have the same amount of kids if you both want to get married or not want to get married or not want to have kids if you want to live in the same country same house or apartment or whatever those are big things those are pretty big life decisions that you have to share with your partner otherwise you're gonna have issues what they want to do as their work job career is probably the least of your worries from all the other stuff that you need to be aligned in life in order for your relationship to be okay to function to not have any issues obviously a lot of relationships have issues it comes and goes i'm just saying about the big life decisions as getting married or having kids it's pretty important if you're not going into the same direction there you're gonna clash you're gonna have issues you're probably gonna have to separate if you want all the same things but you want to i don't know be an entrepreneur in a pyramid scheme and they are happy with their nine to five that is not a issue worth breaking up over that's just my two cents about that why do you and your partner have to have the exact same job or career which being in an MLM, I don't consider that a career. He was just happy with his nine to five, which was paying him regularly, which is probably not something that iGenius does for you. That's so sad. She's only 23. I didn't know that she was only 23. She's obviously been brainwashed. I don't know how long she's been in iGenius. But let's get onto this one. Cat is out of bag. I couldn't be more excited about this next chapter and what it's going to mean for my team. The values, the systems, duplication, business mindset, the compensation plan. It's about to be a whole other level around here. So this is a rep who has left an MLM for a different MLM. She's actually a Q Sciences rep now and I have no idea. I don't remember. This is an older video i don't remember where she's coming from but maybe she tells us in the video it's like 10 minutes long let's hear the tea i guess hello oh bear with me i have not been live in a hot hot second okay so i wanted to come on and just do kind of like a quick overview of like what i've been up to all of the little dripping curiosity that has been going on lately i'm here to finally address it so a little backstory on kind of who i am like i don't want to kind of wait too long for anybody because i respect your time and i respect my time um i'm glancing at my notes because hey man i'm glancing at my notes because i'm trying to keep structured because i'm a tangenty bitch and i will go on a tangent if i am like not kind of structured so a little bit of just like who I am. If you aren't familiar with who I am, I am Laura. Uh, I am a career pharmacist. I work in the community setting. I have two littles. I have a three-year-old and I have a four-month-old baby at home. Um, and you know, I am a busy, busy person. And I came into network marketing about seven years ago or so. Um, I've got a couple different, you know, company experiences and I have seen a lot. I have done a lot and I have learned a lot. That is for sure. Um, so a little bit about kind of like where I came from in my history in this industry is I joined a company um, gosh many moons ago seven years ago and you know it, it aligned with a lot of things I loved health and fitness and helping other people but it became it was so gross it was like typical gross MLM kind of style like you know you're constantly harassing people you're sending cold messages and no one's winning and it felt so disingenuous and I hated trying to invite people to an opportunity that even I was struggling to like 
see go well right like it just did not feel right like drop a one if maybe you've been there if you've worked in a company like that like you felt icky trying to get other people in it because you knew how hard it was like drop a one so i'm not the only person okay um and so i she's saying all the quiet parts out loud and honestly just because she skipped ship on two q sciences now i would not believe her that anything is different in q sciences because we get cold messages from q sciences huns all the time if you're on instagram or any other social media they're gonna cold message you and this is something that in all multi-level marketing companies most of distributors practice cold messaging people being disingenuous so thank you for acknowledging that i do not believe that what you're about to say that q sciences is different i don't believe that they're any different i think that you have been a nuisance cold messaging people uh so much that you've gotten to a good rank good comfortable rank and now you just have your team and your team recruits instead of you so you might not have to cold message anymore but yeah that's only because you're higher up in the rank now all the people below you your downline still cold messages people it doesn't matter if you're in a previous mlm or q sciences most of them probably still do it but that's just my opinion that's that company i ended up joining another company in May of 2021. And I actually quickly became a leader there. I had a team of over like 60, 70 people. Um, you know, I got the car bonus. I was hitting all these cash bonuses. Like I was doing really well, but my team was struggling. Um, I was only maybe one or two other people on my team who were getting, I mean, even a couple hundred dollars a month, right? And yes, a couple hundred dollars a month to some people can be absolutely amazing. Um, and that is a, the goal for a lot of people, but it was really kind of making me realize how many other people were struggling and that I, you know, that that wasn't what I wanted. I wanted a team of people who are winning, who are excited, who are showing up, who are wanting to build a business and who are getting paid for the work that they're doing. Um, so I ended up in a, not You should have just left multi-level marketing then lady, because most of the people across all multi-level marketing companies never make any profits backed up by the FTC. So you're in the wrong profession if you want your team to be successful as well only like kind of watching that happen but i actually started having a lot of actual reactions to the product themselves so i stopped being able to even use the products um there was a lot of drama going on a lot of backstabbing a lot of caddy like it was a really like mean girl society and i just like did not feel like i fit in anymore and i just slowly started pulling back um and that was kind of the end of 2021 for me so 2022 was really just a year of like figuring out what direction i wanted to go in um i had just found out i was pregnant again I was having all sorts of my own health issues. I couldn't work out anymore. I was having joint pain, sciatica. I mean, couldn't sleep. Like, you name it. If you've been pregnant, like, you get it. It is freaking hard. It's hard on your body, especially round number two, okay? Um, so 2022, like, I just didn't know where I wanted to go. I didn't know where I fit in. I knew how much I loved this industry and that I could see a big vision with it, but I just did not know what vehicle was going to be the right one to get me where I wanted to go. Um, I thought you just said it's about your team. So now we're back about talking about you and what's going to get you to where you want to be. And so eventually, you know, I ended up, I truthfully, I was trying products. I was trying products from other companies because I truly believe that the network marketing space has a lot of amazing products. You know, I was trying makeup. I was trying shampoo. I was trying other health products. You know, I was willing to tr get to start as a customer for the first time. Like drop a two if you have like just straight up jumped into a company with out trying products okay because i've done that before drop it too like tell me i'm not the only person you see the vision and you just talk about being hungry for engagement this just reminds me of kelsey jump in you know get your feet wet and you don't even know what you're selling so this time around like i really wanted to try products and i started using the current products that i'm using now about six months seven months ago and I was hooked. These products were amazing, but I really wasn't ready to kind of get back into it. I wasn't sure what I was doing, but you know what? It just kept coming up. It kept nudging me. I kept seeing it. And I, it got to the point where I eventually like just could not deny it anymore. I was seeing these massive leaders coming over with these huge organizations, you know, stable, big organizations that had been in the game for, you know, five, six plus years. Like these aren't people who are just making a quick overnight decision because they saw something flashy. Like they are making a major decision for themselves, for their teams, like for their literal family. They're probably getting bridge contracts, lady. I mean, come on, don't pretend that you don't know. I wouldn't be surprised if she got one. No, she said she exited the company, right? People at the top usually don't jump ship onto a different MLM unless there's a bridge contract involved. Maybe that's just me. That's just my opinion. Family's future. So 
I, I couldn't deny it anymore. And this opportunity was way too good to pass up. And it aligned with so much of the things that I believe in with, you know, getting your your health in check with getting your fitnesses in check, you know, with not being mean girl caddy with like being who you are showing up as you are like there is space for every single one of us here in this industry and like it not being a mean girl society like please there is not it's literally oversaturated. And the best part is it's more business minded. It is not MLM. It is not spammy. Like you show up here because you want to. Q Sciences is very much an MLM lady. Want a business. So, um, you know, I, I honestly just couldn't deny it. So a few leaders and friends of mine, we decided to join with Q Science. Like I know you've probably seen the flash. You think it's the hype. Like I watched for so long before I jumped in and I was like, there's no way it's as good as people say. There's no way that people are like really making that kind of money or like it's that easy, the systems are that great. But I'm honestly telling you on the other side of it, this company was too good to pass up and I could not be more blessed that I decided to jump in because this last month has been incredible. Like having to unlearn so much MLM trash alone has been like, a weight lifted off my off my shoulders. I'm I swear, you know, like this compensation plan is made for so many people to win, and this is the time. If you if you have it on your heart that you are seeking a change, like this is the time to do it because this company is doing so much right now. We have already this compensation plan, which pays you six different ways. We are going to be launching next Friday a week from today three more ways that you can get paid in this company okay as a customer like just having a customer base or building a business as well or you can get paid on both sides which is like the smartest way if you really like have a business mind to start making some incredible money in this industry and not only are we doing three more compensation plan enhancements we're literally launching a new vertical product line that's going to be a trillion dollar like industry like it is products that we all have in our homes already that is focused on non-toxic and because improving our health should be the goal for everybody okay these products are gonna be over 70 of them with an under 35 dollar price rate okay it is going to change this company tremendously and like it, it would honestly just be dumb to not take advantage of this major opportunity these products this compensation plan like a place that is so aligned in so many different ways so i'm, I'm telling you like if you have been feeling kind of just like unhappy not right like you're spinning your wheels like i'm telling you there is better out there it's not always you it can literally be your company so it is worth asking the questions and tapping into other people and just having a conversation okay um you know because like our president has even said in three to five years this company is, isn't going to be the same opportunity now is the time okay and we yes yes that's one of the very small chances that you have to be successful in an mlm is if you join early if you have a big following that you can recruit into your mlm or i guess if you're jumping ship from a different mlm bringing a team with you already but if you're starting fresh you have to join early that's your only chance of seeing any kind of success in a multi-level marketing company so thank you for acknowledging that at least i would dare to say that q sciences is already oversaturated though so yeah this point is correct but also it's kind of bs we right now are doing our we're going to be getting our placements done pretty soon so here we only build three legs we build deep we do not build wide building wide benefits literally nobody but your company we build deep it is a waterfall effect so when i sign someone i sign someone i sign someone and all that volume trickles right up it helps your entire organization which is incredible you can truly help your your team here grow and have success and do so much better so we are going to be doing placements at the end of the month we're gonna be doing that soon like i am truly looking for people here who want to run a business who are serious like it is no more pulling people by the hand it is no more begging people to sign up for a discount you only need to come into this company if you are serious about actually building a business and i cannot wait to see what this team and this company is going to do so if if it has been on your heart to start looking around to see what else is out there i encourage you to reach out send a dm just let's have a conversation and see if maybe this might be the right fit for you maybe it won't i have literally had to tell some people that like maybe you're better off as a customer because i am truly like managing my boundaries this time around and building a team of people who want to have a team who are serious who are committed who are going to show up so if this is you if you are a leader if even if you are just someone who is like ready to commit and show up and like really 
put the time in to build the kind of business that you want. Like, let's have a conversation. This might be the perfect opportunity for you because you can only get at the top of an organization once. And this month, like our team is going to be absolutely killing it. We have been number one on the leaderboard for worldwide already the entire month of January. And it's only gonna be more exciting from here. So I'm, I'm telling you, drop me in the comments below, drop, um, now let's do launch, launch, let drop launch. Otherwise, let's have a conversation in the DMs and see if this might. I don't know what just happened, but thanks for coming on and I will see you all later. I love how shameless she was about trying to cross recruit people. But anyway, what did you think about this? Is Q Science is different than other MLMs? I would venture to say no, it is not. And that it's already oversaturated, but whatever. I guess she had some good points. She was so close, but so far very contradictory to say that, oh, I my team was suffering. I wanted them to do better. Then just jumps ship to a different MLM where you literally nothing's different. The product might be different. It's the same business model most people are not going to make profit in it so it's not about your team it's about you you reap all the benefits of your team's hard work but that's just my opinion let me know down below what you think about this i'm gonna wrap this one up here i hope you enjoyed it thank you so much for watching especially if you made it this far your trooper and i appreciate you and also all of my channel members as always and don't forget to click the like and subscribe button it's a nice free way to support my channel and i will see you all in the next one bye